I know this crown is telling me I can use a few pounds off of it. <laughs> the steering wheel is close. I don't know about you, bro. I fit in there perfectly. Is it, you know? is it tight up there? Yeah. <laughs> but then again, these trucks and buses were built in the day. Back of, then, we're, when, yeah, the, a guy like me was the average size. Yeah. 5'9", <laughs> about 150 or so, give or take. Jeez. That was the average man back in those days. 91. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, obviously not. Because yeah, these buses were basically engineered in the 50s, like rides, I got, I got and they just bodies, never changed them. I got them. bodies at work that got 50 pounds above me, like, you know, just big guys. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. We got some big fellas now. Yeah, my work too, like to lick you. Yeah. But it's the job description too. A lot of guys they don't bring their own lunch. Yeah. They just get a drive yeah. every day. Exactly. Especially when I'm you're cutting, working. I'm cutting back on that. I Especially always, like I said, when you're working on film sets and you're just there eating and sleeping all day. Yeah. I lost two pounds so far in the last few months. So I'm gonna keep it up. But... Uh oh, sirens. Where? It sounds like a diesel. Was that a car back there? To because I think some of these trucks are CNG too. No? Yeah, which is not good because it's not as reliable as the diesel. Yeah. And that's also why fire trucks, a lot of them, don't even have the DPF system on them because oh. they know it causes so many problems. And is that, the, that pollution shit? Yeah, the fire, the, the fire, yeah, the, the, yeah, the fire stations. I think they have like a an exemption oh. because when you drive by and you hear them and you smell the exhaust, you're like, that's a diesel engine. It doesn't have the DPF in it. Good. Well, like I said, I would hope not. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go, you can't be waiting for shit.
60s Jeep pickup. Let's see it. Has a camper shawl on it too.